Well, he's the newest cat that's all the rage for those preschoolers learning the basics. And he's the brainchild of two Atlanta residents, Eric Litwin and James Dean. The creators of Pete the Cat join us this morning to tell us all about this latest craze and phenomena. You got rap videos out there. I mean, wow, this thing is going <laughs> crazy. I mean, Pete the Cat is blowing up officially. Eric, what a pleasure, man. Let's, oh. let's talk a little bit about where the idea came from. I mean, because it seems so simple. I was uh, in an art gallery in Oakhurst Decatur and I saw these amazing pictures and they were wow. pictures of Pete the Cat drawn by James mm -hmm. and I, I knew that I wanted to create a picture book with the character that James created, Pete the Cat. Okay. And James, now you're, you're from Auburn with an electrical engineering degree? Right. And okay. I, I worked for Georgia Power. Okay. <laughs> and then when I was about 39 years old, I, I decided to quit my job. Wow. Which was kind of a crazy thing to do. And then I started doing tent festivals around Georgia, Athens, mm -hmm. Atlanta, Columbus, yeah, because we've seen your work before on our show, you know, as a matter of fact. And um, you brought along some samples, too. We've got some um, examples of Pete and um, with some adult themes over there as well. Is that a Starbucks cup that I see over there on one, oh, yeah. in one of the pictures? Oh, yeah. But Pete, Pete likes coffee. Pete and likes I thought that would coffee, be appropriate. Especially early morning. in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell me a little bit about what it is that appeals to young children, because I would think it would be extremely difficult to write for such young people. It. it it can be, but it's very rewarding. Mm -hmm. I'm a professional storyteller with uh, young audiences at Woodruff Art Center. Okay. So I'm in the schools all the time telling stories. So by the time it hit the book, it had been in front of thousands and thousands of children. Some of the keys are humor, repetition, mm -hmm a simple, subtle message, and a character that they love. Yeah, and, and you know what? The, they do love the character. Mm -hmm. Most of us love the white shoes, though. Where, yes. where, where the white shoes? That's all, Eric. I, I, uh, I, um, I he wanted, never wore <laughs> shoes before Eric. So I, I, that, Eric Eric's idea. I want to. Uh, I want to have positive messaging, and okay. I wanted to have people singing uh, about something negative in a positive light. Seeing mm -hmm. the, seeing the the positive of something, seeing the benefit, seeing the good side, and I thought, what a wonderful analogy to use shoes and. Pete wearing the shoes and he steps and things, but you know what? It's all good. Yeah. So, so now how do you keep up with the production? Because I would imagine these books are flying off the shelves. They, they're doing real well. <laughs> it's, it's a little hard for us to tell. I mean, we go in the bookstores and we, we can find them. <laughs> and that's why we, to get on the New York Times bestseller list, that's why I was so shocked because right. it's not like they're like front and center. You kind of have to look for our book in most bookstores, right. but they must be doing pretty well. Yeah. So. What, what's the feedback you get from parents? Because I know, you know, reading to, to, to my kids, you know, there's nothing like a good book for a child to keep them occupied. It's the best part of it. We hear, we get emails and phone calls and meet people who tell us things like the first sentence their child spoke was, I love my white shoes. Oh, wow. Uh, That's incredible. That's heartwarming. <laughs> they love the yeah, book. Yeah, they love it. to touch you. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Children sleep with the book at night. They, I mean, they just cuddle it up. Um, I like to see the books when they're all <laughs> torn up and they got tape on them and that sort of thing. Uh, those are the best. Well, yeah. you know, they're getting good use yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah, and this one, it also comes with a gift card and downloadable songs. That's right. Um, I sing and tell the story, and you can download that for free so your children can both hear it. And the little girls that we saw in the video had listened to that over and over again. That's how they memorized the book. They were too young to read. They had memorized it from the from the, uh, the download. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And this is certainly something that all our children can use because, you know what? <laughs> you got to be able to do the basics. You got to start somewhere. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations to you both gentlemen on, on a smashing success. Pete the Cat. And you know what? I've, I've had a couple of requests for the book. Um, so I'm not sure who's going to get it yet. Okay. 
<laughs> Gene and Joanne, maybe you guys can pick, or we'll, we'll put we'll put the names in the hat. But guys, congratulations! What a pleasure to have you here. Thank you, thank, thank you for having us. Appreciate here. it. And for more information on where you can find Eric's book, Pete the Cat, and James's artwork, check out myfoxatlanta.com and click on the Good Day tab.